Early in the morning. What's going on, people? It's your boy Cam, Topical Juice, and I'm back again, back upon your screens with an interesting video today. As you can see from the title, I'm exploring this idea of women lying about their body counts, women lying about their, their history, their sexual history specifically, and why that is, why women decide to lie. Because a lot, listen, a lot of women lie. Now, we're gonna get to the bottom of why, <laughs> basically. Without further ado, please hit the bell to be notified. Smash the thumbs up for me. Help me keep growing this channel. Share the channel for me. If this, if this, um, if you think this video might help someone or it will add value to someone, please share it with them because it's gonna help me grow. And yeah, let's let's tackle the year and let's start. So anyway, body counts, sexual history, all this, all this. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It, it's it's always a it's a controversial topic. You understand? People. People are even nosy, people want to know about your history, people want to know this and blah, blah, blah. And you Sometimes you have to ask, why? Why do people really want to know? What, is, what does your sexual history say about you? If you slept with, if you slept with um, one person in your whole life, does that make you a better person than someone that slept with 200? Or, or is it just different? Is it just a different lifestyle? Is it different, is it different upbringing? You never know what people, what the reason is and, and the lifestyle that people live at the time. So I'm going to try and break this down systematically. Now I did a video the first ever video I ever did on this YouTube channel, the first ever video I did was called Do, Does a Man, Do Men Care About a Woman's Body Count? Um, I can't even remember what I said in that video. It was, it was in February 2019. Check it out if you haven't. It's an old video. I'm sure I was chatting some real shit. You know me. I'm sure I was chatting some real, some real, some real shit. But either way, I want to explore why women feel the need to lie. Now, not every woman lies. There's a lot of women out there that don't lie about their body count or lie about their sexual history. They embrace it. They they might not they might not say specific numbers, but they say, yeah, if you're looking for a quote unquote innocent girl or someone that's just oh like as in who hasn't who hasn't experienced anything like that, then that's not me. And I respect that. I respect that way more than someone that's kind of oh yeah no um, oh no I don't really I just I, actually I only sleep with people in um, relationships. Like I remember chatting to someone um, what was it last year um, what was it this this year or nearly last year. And was like, oh, we, we only, like, I only sleep around in relationships. She ended up sleeping with my friend. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> out of a relationship. You know what I'm trying to say? So, and I'm thinking to myself, obviously, I, I, didn't, I did not give it two shits, not even a bit. But, but like, I'm thinking to myself, why, why lie? Like, why, um, why would you do, like, what, what's, why did you feel like I needed to hear that? Why did you feel that Cam needed to hear that you only sleep around in relationships? Because the, iron, the irony is, I, I don't even want. I didn't even want a relationship then. So that's not even what I'm trying to hear. Really, I'm trying to hear the opposite. <laughs> but it just got me thinking. Like, well, there's so many girls that lie on a day-to-day -day basis, and, and you don't need to. Now I'm gonna get. I'm, I've made a little list on my phone of, of of why I think it is, and it ultimately it comes down to it, it comes down to society. Society is the umbrella, the overarching umbrella, and it's the pressures that we put on women, and the expectations that we put on women. So I'll get my notes up in a minute. I'm I'm on, I'm on a roll right now, but like. Society, it, uh, society is the umbrella, okay? So it's the same way yeah, um, I could get a pat on the back by the lads, yeah, no, back in school days, 15, 16, whatever, whoever, I, I, this didn't happen, but I could have, if I slept around or whatever, I would be getting a pat on the back by society. Yeah, go on lad, top shagger, you know the ones there. But if it's, but if it's a woman, it's slag, sluts, hoes. So right, right then and there, you've already got, um, double standards. So you've got an element, so, so they're, therefore you, you're gonna have a whole generation of girls who want to be sexually active, who want to enjoy sex. Cause don't get it twisted, man then. Girls are hornier than us men. Do not get that twisted, rude boy. You think, you think you're out here doing the most? Nah, girls wish they were. Girls wish they were out here, bro. Cause girls are horny. Very, very horny. Um, so you've got, you've got girls that wanna be enjoying themselves and wanting to be exploring this, that and the other, but they've got, they're, they're gonna fight that urge back because of how they're, the expectations put on them from society. Now, let's look into society deeper. Men, let's 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 let's, let's peel back the layers. Men are, is a big factor here in contributing to why a woman lies because men and their egos and their pride. We don't want people that um. Well, I say we. I'm not part of this category, by the way. I'm just saying we as men. But we don't want um, or we don't like the idea of uh people sleeping around or girls. I know someone that you fancy, you don't like the idea of them being with other people, you want to be the only one. 
But at the end of the day, men, that's just pride because deep it, everyone doesn't, no one likes the idea of someone that they fancy or, like I've got, I've got paintings on Instagram, paintings on the road or whatever, whoever it is, or you might have a little, you might fancy someone, you might fancy them or whatever, and you find out that they pipe someone or they're seeing someone, you, you, don't, you don't want to, you don't want to, you don't like knowing that they're, so it's, then they're doing stuff with someone else, like it's just, it's just human nature, but at the end of the day, it's not that deep, everyone's got their journey, everyone's got their story. Women constantly feel judged by men because men will constantly put pressure on a woman to have a low body count. Why? What does that mean? What does it actually mean? Now, because there's a difference here, for example, even there's, there's intricacies because is 20 too high for some man? Is 30 too high for some man? Is, is, I've heard people say five is too much for some man. You lot, yeah, are, you lot, you're asking these girls to lie to you. You are, you are literally asking, you're begging, you're literally getting in on these girls, girls, Girls that I fancy, please lie to me. Because if you think that that a girl, you might buck a girl at 21 years old, even 26 years old, whatever age, 30 years old, and they're gonna have a body count less than five, you are deluded, rude boy. Absolutely deluded. Deluded. And not to mention, there's a difference between, say, say for example, yeah, let's say for example, you've got two women. Two women that have slept with 20 men each. There's a difference even then between a woman that went to Vegas and Marbella and slept with 20 people in a two week, two week period versus a girl that had maybe, I don't know, lost her virginity young, but had like five boyfriends in that time. But then when she was out of her, but, but then after that she was seeing, like she always had to be seeing someone. You don't like, see, you, you know what I'm trying to say? Like there's a difference between that, I don't know, sleep with 20 people in a week or 20 people over a certain time. But you don't know that because men, as soon as people hear the, the number, you, unfortunately, the number is associated with judgment. So I could be perfect for someone. Absolutely, but actually forget that. A girl could be perfect for me absolutely perfect for me she's empathetic she's beautiful she's kind she's all these things that, that that i want in a woman ambitious smart loyal but then i i know it turns out that she's um one drunk a night I, i'm like oh how much uh, how many people you slept with oh um oh you slept with uh oh, pick any number whatever 37 37 guys 37 guys oh damn that must mean oh that's because if, if i say for example you think 37 37 is a lot then you're like oh Damn, 37, slag. Does that mean she was out here piping on his man? Bro, you actually don't know. Lifestyle, lifestyle is very key. For example, like, for example, me. I, I, I recently spoke about body count in this Q&A and I gave a rough ballpark figure of what, it, what I thought it was. But people might look at me now and look at disgust or judge. Oh, how can he do that? How can he, um, how did he manage that? Like, all right, because they're thinking about their own lifestyle, for example. They're thinking about how they meet people and they meet people through dates and they date twice a week or three times a week or whatever, they date once a week and they think, how can someone do that? But they, they don't, everyone's got a different lifestyle. You don't know what I was dealing with. You don't know, if, for example, what I was going through in terms of my mental state, in terms of the actual encounters I was having. When I say that I've personally got no baggage, the reason why I've got no baggage is because all these, all these experiences that I had years back, I didn't even know their names. They didn't even know my name. It was a drunken nights, holiday flings. Like it, it was not like a, you know what I'm trying to say? So that's a factor. You never know what the girl was dealing with. You know, did she, did, was she having like a, did she have trauma as a child that it, that meant that, I don't know, that when she came across men, she, she couldn't say no, for example, or something like that. Do you understand? This is some real, it's some real deep shit, you know? It's not just as soon as you hear the number, it, it, like it, it must mean, it must mean something. Now, this is ultimately always, this ultimately means that girls do not feel comfortable embracing their sexuality. Females do not feel comfortable basically embracing what humans do. And it's, it's unfair at the end of the day. It's funny, you know, car, man them, for example, will be liking pictures of titties out. They'll be liking, they'll be liking all these ass pictures, all these cleavage pi pictures. They'll be liking, 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 liking. And as soon as that, that, that girl becomes their, their, their girl, and that's the wifey, what, you, you think that man will let that, her post pictures like that again? Oh, no, no, you, you can't post that. You can't post that. And it's the same It's the same thing. It's the same mentality. It's, it's a beta male mentality. It goes back to BD energy. That's not, that's some, that's some SD energy right there. That you ain't got, you got, you got to let that pride go. Why do you think I don't ask? Why do you think, if I'm chatting to someone, you think, you think I care about a body count? You think I'm actually gonna, you think, you think I'm gonna chat to someone, chat to someone, chat to someone, get along, and in the back of my mind, I wonder if she slept with a lot of men. You think I'm gonna think like that? No, brother, I'm too secure. Like, you don't wanna ask. You don't, because this is the problem that girls have. 
and I'm not talking about body kind. This is what women. This is the problem that women have. Women, yeah, you always want to know. You always want to know something. But if you, do, but do you really want to know? It's, sometimes it's better to not ask. Because if you, because, because what? So if you ask and find out, is it going to make you feel better? So actually, when it comes to body count, just don't ask. Mandem, you don't know, you don't ask. Just in, take her for what it is. If you're enjoying chatting to her, enjoying her company, enjoy it. Because as soon as you find out that and you don't, and you potentially don't like the answer, then what? You know what I'm saying? Then what? Obviously, women have asked me before in it what my body count was, and I'm always honest. I'll just tell you I don't know in it. I'll just say that I don't know, and that's real. That's real, that's real. That's real. I'm not, I never, I never counted, you know what I'm saying? I just never counted. So, but, like, it's, it's a lot better just, just not ask because the, 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 the judgment that comes around the number, what, why, do we, why does that number give so much validation? Imagine if I ask a girl what her body count is and she goes two. And that's gonna make me go, ooh, that's kinda low. Oh, but why is it? Why is that having that effect on me? Because what? Because do I subconsciously think that a low body count means you're more innocent and more pure? No, you can still be an evil witch under there. You know what I'm trying to say, or whatever, or a heartless. You know what I'm trying to say? And again, and girls that have had hundred bodies or whatever, two hundred bodies, three hundred bodies, whatever the hell number you want. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't mean they're any less used or whatever. You know what I'm trying to say? Like at the end of the day, yeah, no girl I'm ever gonna meet real re realistically is probably gonna have. As high as me, you know what I'm trying to say. So, who, who what, what leg do I, who, who am I? What leg do I stand on? I can't, I can't turn around and say, rah, rah, rah. so we really need to stop putting pressure on these girls to lie, like, to stop um, and making them feel like they have to lie. Now that being said, yeah, I'm not gonna. I true, even though I truly absolve women of the kind of guilt or the blame because it's society's fault and it's men's fault. I don't rate liars, don't get that twisted, I don't rate liars. Like, I don't think you should lie. Because if, you, if you're lying about your body count, yeah, that means in your mind, you think that you're doing something wrong. That's an issue in itself. Like, and then, you, 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 you don't need to lie about it, do you know what I'm saying? I personally, I personally believe we should just embrace, we should just embrace who we are, we, we should embrace our journeys. Because we are not defined by our journeys. We really aim. Like, as someone with a body count like mine, do, do I do I come across do I honestly I'm, I I personally don't believe I come across like a man with I have actually man well I, not like I come across but I'm a lot more mature do you know what I'm trying to say like I'm not I don't come across like I'm not sitting here like a player you know what I'm trying to say I'm not sitting here so like I, I, and I'm honest I'm honest about my my history because I don't care like I, I'm not defined by it we we don't need to judge but like. Even though I understand that people, women still might not like my, my body count, for example, but I don't lie about it. To be fair, I probably should. It's, there's some instances I probably should. I should have just lied, but I'm, I'm actually trying to, I'm trying actually not to do this lying thing. But women don't lie in it. You, don't, you actually don't need to be lying. Because if a man, if you if you tell the truth here and a man rejects you and a man says, oh, you're this, that, and the other, what does that say about the man? Do you, do you really want to be with a man that can't accept you for, for your, who you are and, who, and your past? Now, don't get it twisted. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of men who disagree with this. There'll be a hell of a lot of men that disagree with this because they're going to think, no, nah, I don't want, uh, I don't want um, my girl to be, uh, you know, I want all well, this. All right, cool. That's your prerogative. That's you do your thing in it. I personally believe that's an insecurity thing or a pride thing or whatever. But that's you know, everyone each to their own, and everyone's got different cultures. Everyone's got different mentalities. This I'm just telling you, mine. Ultimately, I'm going to end on this. Like women, you're not more desirable if you have a lower body count. Now, to, to a lot of men, you will be. But to you, you're not. Like you're not. I'm telling you, you're not. To a, to, but okay, yeah. There, there will be people out there that that to them that's desirable. But what's desirable? Like, uh, listen, do your thing in it. Ultimately, I'm just not gonna ask. Ultimately, if I meet someone, uh, and you know, I'm just not gonna ask. I don't need to know. You know, we don't need to know. So women, you don't need to lie. Men, you don't need to know. Because when you ask a question, yeah. If you ask a question, what are you? What, you have to ask yourself, what do you? What are you actually trying to achieve from asking this question? What do you actually want to know? What are you trying to find out here? But anyway, I'm waffling now. I'm going, I'm going around in circles. I hope, I hope you, um, I hope that video makes sense. Hope you understand where I'm coming from. Thank you for joining my TED talk today, <laughs> and I'll see you in the new year. Happy New Year, everyone! And let's tackle this year, 2021. We're gonna do big things. Please share the video. Please like. Please subscribe. And. Um, it's been your boy Cam, and we out.